I'm Austin Russell. Uh, I'm the team leader for Luminar Technologies. We're based up in the Bay Area by Stanford in the U.S. I started at a really young age, of sort of getting really interested in some uh, like aspects of computer science and software development. And then sort of moved on to some of the electrical engineering, computer engineering aspects of that. Uh, did a bit of independent contracting at this time. This is a few years ago when I was uh, really young, about like 10 or 11 at that time. Um, and uh, since then though, and over the past four years or so, I've gotten really into um, specifically photonics. We can add whole other dimensions of information when you manipulate light over just uh, purely, let's say, acoustic or electrical phenomena. For the past few years, uh, I've been focusing on developing some various like new uh, imaging technologies. They're called LiDAR and hyperspectral imaging systems, both of which you know, are in uh, are high resolution and in real time. The LiDAR system that I was developing, uh, it's able to measure uh, not only sort of an X and a Y axis of a field of view like a regular camera, but also a Z axis, as in the depth of each pixel within the individual image. So you have an entire high resolution depth map that can span distances even up to a kilometer. The second uh, sort of imaging modality that I also uh, were developing is a you know, real-time hyperspectral camera system that's actually able to identify the molecular composition of all the objects within the field of view completely in real time. It's able to send out a very short pulse of light into the environment to uh, two million different locations, uh, all in 1 60th of a second. There are current systems that exist that do this. That, however, unfortunately, they're extremely costly, often tens, even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Also very bulky, about the size of, you know, maybe this large, uh, the size of like a mini fridge, you could say. <laughs> so right now we have it uh, down to the size of a few pennies. I definitely see how a lot of these technologies that were originally presented, uh, you know, decades ago, you know, some of the original Star Trek episodes can actually be realized today. It's definitely a, sort of a great foreshadow for uh, what's to come.